What's going on YouTube? It's your boy OGT Man and today we got IRL IRL streamers finally found out. I'm trying to figure out what they found out. Because if they found out they wasn't invincible no more, then that's some real shit to me. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, follow me on IG, follow me on and on fucking TikTok, bro. Blow my blow my channel up. Blow it up some more, bro. It's a struggle out here, man. I I kid you not, bro. I'm I literally I don't even know how much money I got in my bank account right now. Cause that's how serious this is, man. I'm trying to make it, y'all. I'm trying to make it, but keep grinding for whatever you're trying to do in life. Whatever, bro. It don't it don't matter. Keep succeeding. Keep trying to better yourself every single day, bro. Like no cap. All right, let's get started. For many months now, we have taken both deep and shallow dives into the world of in real life streaming. This genre is a degenerate place to scour, like swimming around in the Black Lagoon. And if there's one thing we have learned, it's that in real life streaming rewards individuals who want to push the limits and become as flagrant as possible out in public. No. No. No? Go. Oh. Because that means they're going to get clipped, which pours gasoline on their streams. Oftentimes, this results in random bystanders getting disrespected. I've seen you before. Oh, yeah? Yeah. I'm not a fan, though. Oh, oh you're not? <laughs> Damn. Hey, bro, I just to... It's all good. You probably have a great life, huh? Just being fat as shit. And even physically violated, all for the sake of the streamer trying to keep their viewers engaged. We have seen these clowns hide behind their security, and of course get slaps on the wrist from their respected platforms. But now more recently, I guess the world is finally correcting itself, and streamers have really been getting the bad karma they deserve. And essentially finding out they are not invincible just because they have clout online. So right here I have for you guys the clip that has been both heard and seen around the world. I think it has like hundreds of millions of impressions at this point. And it's of our good buddy Sneeko getting his lights punched out at some sort of political event. Yes, it does indeed seem that streamers are now f***ing around and actually finding out. <laughs> So right there, the person that's slapping that hat off his head is Sneeko himself. As you guys can see, the security guard had around 20 people in front of him, flicking him off, telling him, f*** you. He was having a good time with it, he was doing his dance. But when Sneeko, of all people, decided to feel big because he was in a crowd of people, he slaps the hat off his head, and then hilarity ensues. You guys watch this punch of a thousand sons he's about to deliver. Do you take face-to-face -face payments? Need a POS system. Here's why. An electronic point of Ooh. Hold up. punch Let's of a thousand finish. sons he's about to deliver. Ooh. Boy, that man uh, super punched your dumb ass. Boy, what the f <laughs> Ain't no way, boy. You, boy, you'll have to get your ass beat after that trying to super punch me. The fuck? He was not expecting that shit at all. Here, let me add some sort of sound effect. <laughs> This is that embarrassing moment when you know you got rocked. As you guys can see, he has some damage to his teeth. And you can see it all over his face like, oh, damn, shit just got real. It's a little bit embarrassing. Everyone's like, oh, f our boy just got punched. We got Sneeko here. He's got this busted up tooth. Smile for me, man. This was the security guard at, AF at this thing at this event right up here. Right up here, we got yeah. this guy jumped off the stage. No one attacked this guy, punched Nobody Sneeko in the face. Him. No one touched him. Yeah. You. You. Jumped off the stage, hit Sneeko in the There's face. I watched the whole thing happen. This is just right now? Just now. Just the guy that uh, cut off party. the speech to go play his music, he just, uh, just got rocked in the face. But I'm a non-violent person. You know, I care about America first. That's what it's all about. Yeah, man, we'll take it through the legal necessary ways we gotta do because honestly yeah he just has that look on his face like he's embarrassed like maybe he wants to cry a little bit 
And I love how he says, oh, I'm a nonviolent person. But I'm a nonviolent person. But he was the one who put his hands on someone else first, okay? The guy was trying to turn up with it. He was doing the middle finger dance. But then it was Sneeko who decided to take it like a step too far, which he seems to often do. And he got Superman punched right in his face for doing so. I also liked how one of the people he's riding with immediately said, oh, file charges, bro. He's got this busted up tooth. Smile for me, man. Like he was not the one who provoked the security guard. Now pay attention to what he says right here. But I care about America first. That's what it's all about. He's all about America first. That's Nick Fuentes' thing. That's his like entire campaign. Just keep that in the back of your head. I'm going to get back to that in a second. According to this page, Sneeko would then file a police report. <laughs> But there's no evidence to back up this statement. And I'm telling you guys, this clip has gotten like hundreds of millions of impressions on Twitter. And so you know he had to go over there to cope and see where he says, Security guard sabotaged the event and turned off the mic. Started playing music and taunting the guests. He punched me and fell over chipped tooth. No big deal. And here he once again says America first. And I like how he shows this picture of the security guard as if they had gotten in some sort of two-sided scuffle where Sneeko had knocked him on his ass. When in reality, this dude left Sneeko looking like this. And here is actually an alternate angle of this altercation, the director's cut, if you will. So they're all flicking him off as well on the other side of the camera. He's kind of the most visible one there. Ooh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> Even the cameraman was like, ooh, shit. I mean, I would say that flicking someone off to their face and slapping their property off their head is definitely enough evidence to say that you provoke them. Now, my guys over at Abra and Preach reacted to this, and they said they're willing to pay the court fees for this security guard should it be taken there. If you're watching the security guard and they actually try to sue you, contact me. I'll take care of your legal <laughs> fees. I got time. I'm bored. I'm bored, and he is bored. I want to own a memorabilia of this. I want a painting done. I want a fan to make me a painting. <laughs> People also said it was reminiscent of this streamer moment that just happened around a week ago as well. But this is actually some streamer on streamer violence where Bradley Martin gets the hat taken off his head by this guy, Ronaldo, I believe is his name. And Ronaldo quickly finds out why you should not mess with someone else's property. <laughs> slapped his ass like somebody dead. <laughs> and uh, he said, but did I tell your ass stop playing in that class? <laughs> oh, but hell no. Nah. Oh, boy, that slap looked like a wake up call, but ain't no way. Actually? Like yeah, Ooh, actually. Don't touch someone else's stuff. Don't touch someone else's body. And if you had a good father out there, he would have taught you at a very young age, don't touch another man's hat. And some of y'all probably think that's the stupidest thing ever, but it's really just a respect thing. I mean, he even gave this kid the chance. Come on, give me that hat back. Damn, actually. And I mean, this is someone who wears hats all the time, so you know he's taking this shit serious. Especially like you're gonna take my hat and then you're gonna put it on your nasty ass hair follicles. Nah, you're gonna get bitch slapped with Maroon nasty 5 playing in the background. Follicles. Payphone and all, like this shit ain't sweet. Now this was him after he got punched by the security guard. He booted up the stream. Loves me! <laughs> so he's having a good time with it apparently. I mean, I guess all you can do when you get punched right in your face in front of 100 million people is just kind of laugh the pain away. Now, here's where we get back to Sneeko's America first is all that matters message. I care about America first. That's what it's all about. Because his buddy, Nick Fuentes, who's the leader of that whole movement, actually weighed in on Sneeko getting punched, and he thought it was pretty hilarious. I feel so bad for Sneeko. He was the casualty getting punched. But the video was so funny. That was funny? <laughs> What was funny about that? Absolutely Adam. hilarious. Because the because the security guard, I don't know if you saw the video. Sneeko got hit in the face by a security guard. He's, he's smiling pretty hard. He's flipping everybody off. He's dancing. Somebody knocks his hat off. He goes okay, and then he leaps it. He leaps into the air, pulls the fist back. Or he's wheeze laughing. Back, flying into the air, with the fist pulled back and blasts Sneeko in the face. Like I've never like that made me realize that. I support the America First movement. 
I'm always going to be a for them. <laughs> so for those of you that didn't catch that, he's like, no matter how much I support and dick ride this guy, I'm always just going to be another N-word to him. But he also says that he'll always be his buddy. And Nick's my friend. Like, I don't want people to clip this and, like, and get upset. It made me like, bro, like, am I, am I... Massa, massa! Like anyone who's too far on either end of the political spectrum, I just really don't trust them at all because they're really trying to mess with your ability to think independently. But you know, Tim, everyone else is a grifter and he's just the beacon of truth. Josh, should I just stayed on Batu? Should I have grifted like the commentary channel? Should I have stayed a soy boy? Yes or no? Yes or no? Like, be honest, bro. Like, why am I getting punched by the fourth venue security? Why am I doing that? I mean, he's acting like he got punched because of his political beliefs. When in reality, he got punched because he put his hands on someone else. I really care about the truth. I, 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 I want everyone to see this. Look at my, I, I genuinely care about this. The motto is seek truth through funny. I live this. I just feel like any person who thinks that they know the truth of the matter in every situation is actually more arrogant than the person who is completely uninformed. I guess the core point of this video is the streamers have been f***ing around for a long time and now they're finally facing the... Thank you, Jamari. Make sure to subscribe to him. W man, bro. Excuse me. Bum, yeah. My dad, I, I was learned, I was taught that a long time ago, not even by my dad, well, not even by my dad, but by my siblings to like not touch nobody else's stuff. I, I ain't get my tooth knocked out, I'll be damned, but yeah, you had like, what? Why would you even, what even made you think to do that? Like, that was about the most stupidest shit ever, like really? Well, um, yeah, social media made y'all way too comfortable with disrespect people and not getting a face for it, Mike Tyson. Oh, Mike did say something like that. I'm not a violent person. Also, Sneeko, watch my clips. <laughs> I do remember he was saying that to that white dude. Yes, we're all non-violent people after getting checked. Sneeko had it coming, not going. Oh, God. Like, why would you, why would you do that? If anything, you could have. I, I would have rather you bucked at the dude before you, you even did something like that. Like, fuck. Anyways, it's your boy OG T Man signing out. Y'all niggas really starting to figure out, y'all. Really starting to figure out.